Hi, it's India, and today I am going to give you guys three tips for making snack time better and easier. Um, if you have small children like I do, and probably even big kids, the question of the day is always, can we have a snack? Can we have a snack? Can we have a snack? It gets really annoying quick. And it seems like my kids ask all day long about snack time. So today I'm going to give you three tips that I use in my house to kind of help with this and to make snack time better. Now I'm not saying that they're not going to ask because they're still going to ask, but it won't be as much. All right, so my first tip is to actually have a snack time schedule. So schedule in your day what time snack time is. Just like you schedule breakfast, lunch, and dinner, also schedule snack time. And once you get a schedule for your snack time, also give them cues to let them know like what time that is. Because I have a three and a six year old and my three year old, of course he can't tell time. My six year old can, but my three year old can't. So I would try to give him little cues on how to figure out when it's snack time. So when he comes to me and be like, can I have a snack? I can say, when do we have snack? When is snack time? So one thing that I do is like, we started this last year and my six year old was in half day kindergarten and she would usually get out like around 1030. So when she would get out, that's when we would have snack. So around 1045, 11 o'clock. So whenever he would come up to me during the day, like mommy can I have a snack? And I'm like, when is snack time? And he's like, when we pick up Gracie, okay. So that's one of them. The other way that um, he knows that it's snack time is that they always have snack after um, nap time, so like 3, 3.30. So he knows um, whenever we would pick up his sister, that's when snack time was, and whenever he would get it from his nap, that's snack time. Um, my daughter, she can of course, she can tell time, so she can kind of look and I can be like, what time is it? And she'll look and be like, oh, it's not 10.45, 11 o'clock yet. So you have to give them cues so that they will know when snack time is, and have an actual set snack time schedule. Now in my house during the week, we don't have snack time after dinner. We don't get snacks after dinner. We save that for like special treats on the weekend. So they still ask right after dinner, um, can we have a snack? And we're like, you guys know that during the week we don't have snack time. So that's the first tip. My second tip is to have a snack box. I will show you one. This is our snack box. Um, a snack box can be any type of box, container, bowl. It just needs to be big to hold a lot of snacks. Um, what I would suggest is kind of making one with your kids or letting them decorate the snack box so that they can kind of be involved in it. Um, the one that I have right now, I got it from Target. It was probably like $5.00. The one that I had before was a really big hot pink one that I got from Target for like $2. And it was just a big huge bowl. Um, another thing that I use for a snack box sometimes are these containers like this. Sometimes you can get the Cheetos or the cheese balls in these. This one came from Target. I'll save this to for um, snacks or whatever. And I think we might actually um, like cut this one and decorate it so the kids can have another snack box. But for right now, I just use it for my snacks that don't fit in the bowl. So, tip number two is make a snack box. And with the snack box, mine sits on my counter. My kids can reach it or whatever because um, they don't go in it without permission. But I have a friend that I gave her this suggestion and she loved the snack box idea, but she said her son was having snacks all day because he would just get snacks whenever he wanted to. Um, so if your kids, are going to keep going into it you might want to put it like up on the refrigerator or put it up high where they can't reach it um, but if not mine just sits on the counter and a lot of people come to my house and even grown-ups and they're always in the snack box they say oh I love your snack box and um, my husband actually is in the snack box more than my kids and a lot of these snacks are his snacks so anyway um, tip number one have a schedule for snacks tip number two create a snack box my last tip is to actually have healthy snacks or have snacks that you want them to have in the house. Like if you have a lot of cookies and Debbie cakes and candy, you know they're going to ask for it and they're going to try to get it. If you don't want them to have that type of stuff, don't buy it or put it where they can't see it, out of sight, out of mind. So um, I'm going to share with you some of the healthy snacks that 
I have, and I'm going to warn you that all my snacks are not healthy at all. Um, we probably eat about 90% healthy in my house, um, and we eat, you know, what we want in moderation of things that are not so healthy. But um, most of the time, we do eat very healthy. So I do have some non-healthy snacks, but most of the time, they eat very healthy snacks. So I'm going to show you some of the ones that I have in my snack box. Um, a lot of times, I like to get the kids... And my husband likes these too. Fiber One makes them Special K, um, Nature's Valley, I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, Nature's Valley. We get granola bars and protein bars. So I just get all kind of flavors of these. I know these are not the best, but, um, you know, these are good enough for right now. My kids love fruit snacks, and I try to get the Mott's, M-O-T-T-S brand fruit snacks because they say they have like real fruit juice or something, they're supposed to be all natural. Um, but I actually compared the ingredients with like the Scooby snacks, and it's not much of a difference. So if any of you know of any healthier um, fruit snacks, please let me know. But for right now, we have like Scooby snacks because they love fruit snacks. A lot of times I like to get the Welch's uh, fruit snacks, or I get the Mott's. Um, I think we might even have Mario Brother fruit snacks in here too. Oh, here they are. So, um, fruit snacks. Um, I do. We rarely buy chips in our house, but for some reason last week the kids asked for um, chips, and I bought the big pack of them so I can have more snacks. And they haven't even eaten.